What's going on everybody? So today we have a really cool project. This is going to be a little display board idea that I've been thinking about. So what I've done, I actually recently won this in like a little auction. Um, it's just like a little display board kind of thing and it's kind of cool. Um, what it is is just like it's a tray and I'll kind of give a little 360 here. Um, but you see it's just like basically I would say about two and a half inches tall and maybe uh, we'll say maybe a foot and a half wide um, by well maybe okay maybe two feet by about a foot and a half so it's pretty cool um, what I've decided to do is use this for my Titanicus force that I've recently been working on so it's got a little dice tray kind of thing that slides in here like so boom um, but what I want to do with this, I'm going to sand this down. It's a little rough. So I've already sanded down this outer rim here. This middle area I'm going to do up and be like some texture. So it's going to match with my Titanicus bases, which are very simple. And I'll show you guys those in a little bit. But what I'm going to do now, I've already sanded this down, like I said. So I'm going to fill in some of these areas like with spackle. Um, I just have some basic spackle paste right here. And I'm going to go in and fill these in and sand them back down. And I'm going to keep doing that until I get a really smooth finish. Um, and then I'm going to paint, I'm going to spray paint this black. Um, and then after that, I'm going to go in and continuously sand it down, spray more black, sand it down, spray it black. And I'm going to use progressively thinner and thinner, um, or rather I should say higher and higher grits of sandpaper. Um, until I get a very clean, smooth finish on this outer rim. Um, so that's the plan for now. I'll come back and show you guys kind of what um, it looks like maybe after the spackle goes on. And then we'll see what okay, it looks so, like. Okay, uh, so we're see. back. We just did the spackling on everything. Um, I did try to focus a little bit on these corners here. This is kind of where um, there's some board separation. Or like you can kind of see this line that runs along here. So some of the... <clears throat> more rougher areas excuse me it's still early in the morning um down here i just kind of filled in a little bit up there i'm not going to worry too much about you know down in there like i'm not i'm not going to see that so that's fine um there were two little spots right here that i wanted to fill in though just so when i pull the board out or the little dice tray thing if i don't need it i'm not going to worry about it but yeah so that's what it looks like right now um we'll come back probably we'll give it like an hour or so to dry which for you guys will be about uh, now. Anyways, so we'll come back in a minute and I will show you guys what it looks like once it's all sanded down. All right, we're back. So it's been a couple hours. Um, I've went through and I've sanded down after I've done all the spackling. I think I did about three different coats. Um, it took a little while. I missed a couple spots like along here I had missed initially. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like. It's again, it's, you know, it's pretty pretty sanded down it's very soft right now which is awesome i love this feeling um but yeah so we're done this is actually going to be the front i've decided that i want to do like a name plaque along here so i haven't decided what i'm going to call my legion yet or you know what i want to put on the plaque that's for like a little bit of a later date but it's just going to tack on so that's no big deal or i can just glue it like we'll see how that works out so yeah um this is the main section though because i want to make sure this is good for me because i'm going to look at this and put stuff in here and whatnot so this section, I have went ahead and sanded and, and spackled everything for the, the little pullout tray. So that looks good. Um, I didn't go crazy with it because, again, you're not really going to see it a whole lot. But I just want to make sure that it's still sanded down so that if I, you know, happen to touch it or something, it doesn't feel weird. So um, after I sanded it down, I like to go through. It took a, just a big old brush, flipped off all the sand, and then... Um, the last step was wipe it down with a very damp rag. So I went through the whole board, wiped it down with a damp rag, and all that's gonna do is ensure that all of our dust that we didn't get with the brush um, is actually gonna come off and that's gonna make our surface nice and clean for when we apply the paint. So I've decided I'm gonna go with Krylon, this uh, black semi-gloss paint right here. Now, this is not gonna be, like this is the first coat we're gonna do, so we're gonna come back and we're gonna sand it down. Um, Probably, we only did a 180 um, for all this stuff, but I'm thinking we're probably gonna go to like 200, 215 or something like that for 
uh, the, the sand coat after this one just to make sure it's, it's very smooth. I don't want to take away a lot of this paint, but I am going to give it two coats if I need to. Um, I will spray the box that goes in here as well. So everything will be black. It'll look really cool. And then in here, um, we'll come back at probably a later day, which I don't know when I'll post this, but for you guys, we'll see. And this is going to all look like the surfaces of my bases for my Titanic and stuff. So I'm excited for that. I'm going to go ahead and spray this down and I'll shoot a quick video to let you guys see it. And then we'll wrap it up for the day. All right, and we're back after I sprayed some black on it. Again, we are using the Krylon uh, black semi-gloss here. So it's good. Um, I've already seen a couple spots and you may not be able to see it in the lighting, but a little bit like right in here, there's some wood grain I may want to get rid of. Um, so I'm hoping the paint fills in a little bit of that area, but um, I think mostly it's it looking pretty good. I'm very happy with this color. Like the black is just, I, like I think it's gonna pop so well. This is gonna be more of like a gray area too, um, but I'm very excited to see this clean black on the rim. Um, also note, I've gone in and touched up on the inside of this area too. I'm gonna to tape this off when I start to do my, my stuff. So that way um, it's not gonna get up over on this lip. And I wanna keep this nice clean black lip around the whole thing. So we're gonna let it dry. I may or may not hit it with another coat before I go to bed, but that's pretty much where I'm gonna call it for today. And then uh, we'll come back probably tomorrow and see what's up. Before I go though, I wanna show you a couple quick things. So, in addition to getting this paint today, I also picked up these uh, from Home Depot. These are just skid pads. You can get these in the, oh man, like the section that has all the, the felt things for like chairs and whatnot. So, I'm a, the plan is, they're pretty heavy duty. So, instead of putting, like it came with handles. So, I, instead of putting these handles on it, I figured the handles are going to screw in too far. Uh, you're not going to be able to really see, or like you're not going to... Um, you're gonna have too much structural problems here and I'm worried the handles will break off. But these are just gonna like sit under and act as little feet and it's gonna give me enough room to lift it up and if I need to carry it, no big deal. And they're only like $2, so this is a great little trick if you're making a display board, make it sit off the ground just a touch so you get both the display looking quality and it's a little bit elevated so that way, even if you're on some sort of game mat or something else, you're not just putting your, t your um, your display against the table, maybe potentially ruining the table, you know, you never know. So anyways, uh, just a little trick if you guys are interested. These are again, the little skip pads. Check those out. Uh, I got them at Home Depot, so I'm sure Lowe's or somebody else has them too. So anyways, so that's gonna do it for today. Uh, again, like I said, we'll come back, maybe hit it with another coat of gloss for the night, and I think that might do it.